Over the past few months, we've reviewed a variety of excellent face retouching tools, ranging from manual to fully automatic. However, if none of those fit your needs and you're still searching for an even simpler solution, you're in the right place. In this video, we're diving into Reblum, a new AI-powered skin retouching tool that promises top-notch quality and claims to surpass its competitors. But does it live up to the hype? Let's find out in today's video. Before we dive into the demo, here are some key features. Reblum works as a standalone app or as a plugin for Photoshop, Lightroom, and Capture One. No word from the company on Affinity Photo support. It claims to replicate a professional retoucher's work using advanced techniques like frequency separation and dodge and burn, automating 80% of the most time-consuming skin retouching tasks. By the way, if you want to learn how to use frequency separation for skin retouching in Affinity Photo, check out my video on that topic. Let's try Reblum on a few photos. Let's start off using it as a plugin with Photoshop. I'll open the first image, which as you can see, has significant blemishes. If you've seen my Affinity Photo videos on skin retouching with frequency separation, you know how time-consuming this can be. Let's see how much faster Reblum is. First, I'll duplicate the layer for comparison purposes. Then I'll go to Filter, Reblum. Note that the Reblum menu item appears after installing the app. This launches Reblum, and after a few moments, without even clicking a button, the blemishes are gone. Inspecting the result, Reblum does an excellent job of maintaining skin texture and a natural look, despite the significant amount of processing. The interface is incredibly simple too, offering just two styles, fashion and natural, and two sliders. The default processing used in this case was the fashion style. To soften the effect, you can switch to natural. Here's fashion, and here's natural. If you want to bring back some of the blemishes, simply reduce the general slider to adjust the effect. And that's all there is to using Reblum. It's super straightforward. Once done, click OK. And that will bring you back to Photoshop where the processed image appears as a layer. You can then polish up the result using tools like Clone and Stamp as I'm doing here. Here is the before and the after. Let's demonstrate another example, this time with Capture One. Once again, we have another challenging image. To use Reblum in Capture One, simply right-click on the thumbnail, select Edit With, and choose Reblum. And there you go, another great result. This time, the image was processed with a natural style. For more aggressive processing, you can switch to fashion. Here is natural, and here is fashion. As you can see, fashion works more aggressively to even up skin tones and remove dark eye shadows. Again, you can reduce or completely remove the effect via the general slider. Once done, click OK and that will create a new image alongside the original. From here, you can use tools such as the healing brush to complete the edit. Next, let's move on to the next example. This time, we have three blemished faces in one photo. Let's see how Reblum handles this. This time, I'll use the standalone app and just like that, all the three faces were processed. Looking at the right sidebar, you can see Reblum shows auto-detected faces. You can also select a face to limit retouching to that particular face. Next, let's look at a photo with blotchy skin. This is typically fixed manually using dodge and burn on the low frequency layer. A pretty time-consuming process. The good news is Reblum can handle those issues as well. No need for a separate plugin. Let's launch Reblum. And as you can see, skin tones have been evened out and dark eye shadows lightened without compromising texture. Finally, let's look at batch processing. 
For this, we need to use the standalone app. I'll add in 52 photos. Since I want it fast, I'll change the mode to ultra fast. This mode focuses on processing only the most prominent skin concerns on the face, such as noticeable blemishes, without modifying the overall skin texture. It's designed for quick edits, prioritizing speed, while still delivering natural looking results. I'll select the photos. I'll click Save. I'll choose the Output folder. And there you go, processing has begun. Can you guess how fast Reblum will take to process 52 photos? There, processing is done. How long did it take? Just 2 minutes and 20 seconds. That's lightning fast retouching. So that's a demonstration of Reblum. What are its pros and cons? In terms of pros, as advertised, it delivers excellent natural looking results out of the box. It's extremely simple to use. It does blemish removal, skin evening, and dark eyeshadow lightening without the need for multiple plugins. It's incredibly fast. In terms of cons, Reblum prioritizes a natural look, so there is no way to remove freckles, fine lines, or moles, which it considers defining characteristics. If you need that type of capability, you can try Capture One's portrait retouching tool which processes skin more aggressively. Another con is less control. As you've seen, Reblum for the most part relies on just one slider to adjust the effect. Tools like Capture One or Retouch For Me will include multiple sliders or rely on multiple plugins for more control. So I hope you found this video on Reblum helpful. I do think Reblum is an excellent alternative with its own set of advantages. I'm really looking forward to see how this tool develops. For the future. By the way, if you're interested in trying out Reblum, do use my link in the description for a 7-day trial and 20% off your purchase. I'll earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thanks for supporting the channel and I'll see you in the next video.